Good day, Junior Tuckies. I'm Mrs. Burden Kump, and in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to write an informal letter. Let's ask ourselves the question, what is an informal letter? An informal letter is also known as a friendly letter. It is a letter that you write to someone that you know very well. You will use an informal register. So this means you can use contractions and you can be a little bit more colloquial or less formal in your language. However, you cannot use any slang. The tone that you're going to use is also informal. So the way in which the person who receives your letter is going to read it, it can be informal. And the structure of an informal letter is incredibly important. Let's look at the next slide. Let's have a look at the basic structure of a friendly or informal letter. On the right hand side, you will see that there is an address line. This is the person's address that you're sending it to. So in your first line, you will have your house number and the street. Now remember, please use capital letters. The next line underneath that will be the suburb in which you live. The next line under that will be your postal code. Now, most of us don't use the post anymore, but any four digit code will work. The next line is the city in which you live. Then you will have the date that you wrote this letter. Very importantly over here, you will see that I've highlighted three X's in red. That means you need to skip a line. So you skip a line after writing your uh, address line on the right hand side and directly to the left you will start with dear whoever you are writing this letter to. Then you skip a line. You start off with the introduction. So you're not going to write introdu introduction like I have over here, but more you're going to explain the main reason for sending this letter. Then you are going to skip another line and start the body of your letter. This is more of an explanation of why you're sending this letter. It includes the events of what is happening, what is going on, and everything, all details that needed to be known. Remember to cover all aspects of the topic that you have been given in your body. Then you skip a line and you start off with your conclusion. You're ending off your letter here. You're rounding up any ideas that you've presented in the body. Then finally, you skip a line, write your sincerely, and then your name and surname. Now, let's quickly discuss register and tone. What are they? Register is writing in a way that you use language in a certain situation. So, for example, an informal register is what you would use when you're speaking to your friends and a formal register is what you would use when you're speaking to the teacher or a principal. So, for example, formal register would be, good day, ma'am, I hope this letter finds you well. Whereas, informal register could say, good morning, Mrs. Burdenkamp, how are you today? Let's have a look at some common mistakes that are made by learners. The first one is using slang. Now, I know it is tempting because you use it in your everyday life, but slang may not be used in any way in English. Now, another mistake is either being too formal, using too much of a formal register, or being way too informal. For example, you cannot say, hey dog, how was your weekend? That is colloquial language. That is language that we use in everyday life. It unfortunately doesn't have a place in our letters. Then another mistake that learners often make is not studying the format. Understanding the format is going to help you when you're writing these transactional writing pieces. Remember, transactional writing really boosts your marks, just in the, ter in the term as well as in the exam. And then a common error that many, many learners make is not checking for spelling errors and their sentence structure errors. If you are finished early, read over your piece of writing and make sure that you've caught out any mistake that you've made. 
Here is an example of a friendly letter. So you will see on the right hand side, we have the information about where the letter is coming from. Then you have your greeting. Dear Aunt Rita, it starts off with the, the introduction. I had a wonderful time visiting you this summer. Swimming in your pool was a lot of fun. I liked your slide and playing Marco Polo with my cousins. Then we move on to the body. Thank you for taking me to the museum too. That was so thoughtful. I learned so much about the Revolutionary War. I wonder if I would be a patriot or a loyalist. Then we move on to the conclusion. I will never forget my first visit with you. I hope to come back next summer. Will you be able to come see us soon? I miss you. And in the closing line over here, you can say love or yours sincerely and your signature, meaning your name. All right, Junior Tuckies, this is the end of this lesson. I hope that you understand how to create an informal or friendly letter. Goodbye.